Magic Johnson, and today we're gonna teach you how to blow up the Death Star. Hey, I'm Kieran. Sup? So last week, I think it was Sunday, I went to Lancaster to buy a suit for my graduation, which is all next week on the 30th. And yeah, they went up, and I gotta say, I love River Island. It's so great. Like, I'm not advertising, just say. Because I was walking around, I saw so many really nice clothes, and I then got some really nice blue skinny jeans. Also, pennies as well, which are really good. But I was in pennies, I was walking around, and I saw some really nice shoes. So I mean, there were some really like Joe Suggs shoes that you wear to premieres. And like, you can judge for yourself. I've got them here. At least what they look like. Maybe they don't, but to me, they look really like Joe's. Obviously, he probably went to a more expensive store to buy them, or maybe he bought them in Primark. You never know. Yeah, they're, they're really nice shoes, so I had to get them. Well, I was also went up in Blanchett, I decided to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's got some good reviews, plenty of bad ones. I was kind of half and half on whether I was going to like it or hate it. I had to go see it myself, because like, when I was younger, I loved all the series. The 2012 series, the 2003 series, and the 1980 series. I loved the movies as well. The, live action ones and then you got the one the anime one that was made in 2007 I think I had to go see it and it wasn't that bad like it wasn't as bad as like some people for age because I thought it was really good I wouldn't say it was amazing but it was still good um, like the stuff I liked about it was the characters of course like the four turtles were the usual turtles that they are in anything you had Michelangelo who was a joking one who was like, really fun loving and which I love about him I always love to see my favourite character. Then you got Leonardo who's the leader but wasn't much of a leader in this movie as as he was in other series of movies. Then you had of course Raphael who was the one who always bickered in, with Leonardo in space and never agreed or anything and always kind of went, oh I don't like this. Then of course Donatello which was a smart one, he had his own security system and the player. April O'Neil, she wasn't that bad because people like I never thought Megan Fox would be good as April O'Neil, but I didn't think she was that bad as April O'Neil. Maybe some people have other thoughts on it, but I thought it was, she was not that bad at all. Then you got Fern who liked her and I just didn't like him at all. The only thing I didn't like about the movie characters wise was the way that Michelangelo was making out that she was his girlfriend. And, Ugh, didn't like that. I was like, come on, a turtle like a, a human girl. I know that the, that was happening in the 2012 series with Donatello. I thought actually they were going to do that in the movie, but then they did it with Michelangelo. But it was kind of, a, like, some parts were funny, him saying, uh, you're my girlfriend. Spencer was also awesome. Like, see, he knocked over the turtles with his tail, which is really cool. Also, the soundtrack was totally awesome, because, like, I always say, a movie is not great if it hasn't got a badass soundtrack. Now it's about points in the movie. One thing I say is there's way too much humour in the movie because I know they say that's probably one of the hell the turtles for but in the rest of the series of movies they did act serious as well but they add I'd say about 70% laughter and 30% seriousness. There's a part where Michael and I farted on when they were all stuck in a pipe trying to get into a lair. How immature is that? I know that uh, it's like the way that 2012 series is made for people of 2000s. Also, I didn't like the origin story of the turtles because, like, the way that they did it, I just didn't like it at all. But I'm not going to say anything because that would be spoiling it for people who hasn't seen it yet. But the origin story is completely different. Michael Bay had to create his own origin story for the turtles. And when I went to see the movie, I was like assuming there was going to be the same origin story where the turtles were like belonged to a little boy and they fell into the sewer and then the TCRI or TGRI which one of you, whichever one you know fell on them and they became mutant turtles and so did the rat as well and the like Splinter I thought the origin story of him is different in the original series movies he was a rat who belonged to a guy called Hamato Yoshi which the shredder knew of him and he killed uh, him in the original series or in the uh, the 80s series, he, um, Hamato Yoshi became the rash and then missed the Trinity Turtles. But yeah, I did change that origin story too, which also made the, uh, that kind of bad for the Turtles because that means Shredder didn't have anything to do with Turtles, but the, he had a small part. He was like involved in how why the Turtles were created. But 
I didn't like it. It's just the origin story was kind of bad, and it was ba the whole movie was based around the origin story. I didn't really like it, so it's made the plot kind of meh. But, like I said, the characters were great, and like the, the action scenes and stuff like that were, were great. So, that out of all that, it was pretty good. And if I just have to give it like uh, out of five, I'd give it like three out of five, maybe. If you haven't seen this movie and you like Turtles and you think, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't see it because everyone else didn't like it, go see it. Because, like, that's what I, I, I do with lots of movies. I, I say I don't want to go see it because there's been bad reviews, but I actually like it myself because that's the way I am. Uh, some movies everybody hates, I like. But, uh, so go see it if you, if you think that, oh, maybe I shouldn't go see it just because everyone else doesn't like it. If you don't like it, fine. You, at least you went to see it. Also, I went to Decent's to get da 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 the pointless book. Oh. Of course, I had to get it because since I was like start, just started YouTube, Alfie days uh, making watching his videos, and like that's the reason why I started YouTube myself, which I everyone knows that already because I've said it like three or four videos. And I was up in Dublin, I saw it, and I said I have to get it, so. Yeah, I got it. I haven't really done much in it. All I've really done is like draw the hat. Where you, uh, I can't I don't know if you can see it, but uh, I drew a top hat on it. And I've also done one of the Would You Rather ones. And I've also done the Join the Dot one because like ever since I was younger, I love doing Dot Dots and stuff. So I've also, also done the Word Search. Like Tommy McNulty said, I don't know his YouTube name at the moment because I'm that terrible at remembering stuff but uh, and he, in his favourites video he he basically talked about the point of this book because he loves happy days too so I'll link that down below so go watch that like, uh, like um, Tommy said in the video I, I'm gonna do the same like I'm gonna go through it slowly because if you do it all in one go it, it'll just basically ruin the fun of it because like, that's why it's called a pointless book it's you're doing a pointless order you, you save the book while well last so I'm gonna keep doing this over the next year, I don't know. But I will always enjoy this book. I'm gonna keep it forever because Alfie Days is awesome. Alfie Days is awesome. Also, tomorrow is Utopia. And if you don't know what it is, it's another Irish YouTube gallery. You should totally come because it's awesome. I'll also be vlogging too, so I'll be uploading that hopefully Sunday after I go to it or the Monday. So I, gu I guess that's basically it. I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And follow up on my social media links down below. Bye bye!